A non-compete agreement can be part of an employment contract. It can be a freestanding or a contract by itself. It can also be part of a buy-sell agreement or merger acquisition agreement. It is an agreement intended to bind a particular employee. Um, can be they're individual, but um, you can have multiple employees sign it, uh, and it binds them to uh, maintain uh, privacy and secrecy and what it says, not compete with the current employer um, in a specified area. Uh, the, the actual items or, or information, uh, methods, um, what is to be maintained and kept secret, uh, the non-competition part, is spelled out in the agreement. Make sure that it is understood by both sides and, and that it's clear. Then it will set a geographic uh, restriction. Usually, um, it will be it will be an area either identified as a as a um, distance from the home office of the company or of its various um, offices where that person works in. It may have other areas um, that it designates. It could be the whole country. It could be the whole world. It could be a region. It will specify a period of time, and the time runs from the date that the employment ends. Uh, pay attention as to whether it's going to only apply if the person quits, or if it's going to also apply when it or when if the person is fired. One argument that could be raised is, well, it shouldn't apply if I'm fired because you think I'm so terrible. Why? Why would you think that I could bring value to someone else? Uh, the counter to that is, well, because you're taking all of our secrets. Uh, companies have a vested interest in systems and um, methods that they create, and they don't want a competitive uh, advantage that they may have or that they believe that they have going to the competition. And so that's the reason for this. Now, in a buy-sell agreement, the um, new buyer um, may want the former owner not to compete. They may think, well, he says he wants to go lay on the beach today, but tomorrow he might want to go back to work. And if he does, we don't want him competing in this very industry that he was in before that we have now paid him all this money um, to acquire the company. So sometimes those are included in an agreement and the money is paid out over the term or a portion of the or purchase price is paid out over the term of the non-compete to make sure that you tie them uh, to that um, particular agreement. One area that the, a non-compete cannot be um, applied to is people who um, it's their primary, um, it's, it's their sole profession. For example, a stylist. A stylist can't be prevented from going to another another salon, an attorney can't be prevented from going to another company, a CPA, etc. Um, but the company can still maintain confidentiality of its customers and um, its methods and, and things like that. The um, non-compete will be entered into at the beginning of the employment or sometimes um, when there has been a transition period and um, it's usually in writing.